Okay, making a lot of videos today. I just had to transfer some videos <coughs> off my iPhone again to free up space so I can make more. This is a picture of yesterday. My ne this was a huge step. This picture would not be possible without me switching to my new medication. I and being proactive about trying to increase my act activity level again. Um, like a few days ago, I was having trouble just walking around my parents' backyard <coughs> and picking up sticks and throwing them into a pile near our, uh, our fire pit. Um, and it took me like three different occasions um, just to make like a fairly small pile and um, like, oh, like a pile, I don't know, big enough for, like, a backyard, like, fire. And it, it was mostly, like, s smaller, like, sticks and small branches. But anyways, this creek runs back towards my parents and I. Actually, we made, we made a video yesterday about this, but, um, uh, if you're, ever, like, looking out our backyard... Like our neighbor to the direct right of us, like up right here is actually their driveway, and underneath the driveway, the creek runs through, and they put in you know the man-made tunnel, and it actually the tunnel actually looked like way bigger in person because I was able to I'm six foot eight and I was able to walk through there. Like, I don't even think I even had to duck at all. But he is up on top of a, obviously a fallen over tree. But yeah, that's my oldest nephew, Michael. And the creek um, runs, like, alongside my parents' backyard and then, like, winds and does all these tw twists um, past our other neighbor and then comes back here t towards our neighbors and then it winds and winds and winds until and then like way back there is the back side of Hargis Lake and the creek like it just goes on and on and on forever like I think it starts to go, go around the Hargis Lake trail too but we managed to walk like I don't know for another 15-20 minutes farther down and then I got, finally got to the point where I was feeling woozy like you know the, this medication it does cause it's make me help me feel better it isn't you know gonna actually make me you know help me out with you know dehydration and helping you know my athletic shape you know turn me into a super athlete so he w was he hardly gets outside at all he's always um, playing on his Xbox 360 or on, or on, like, an online computer game. Um, uh, but anyways, so, um, by the way, he's only 11 years old, and he's already five two and a half, so he's still on pace to make it to <coughs> between six foot eight and six foot ten. And let's see. Oh yeah, he wanted to keep going, but I finally got to the point where I'm like, all right, we gotta quit. And there was this huge like <clears throat> this picture doesn't even compare. It was a pretty big steep incline we had to climb up to get, cause like this is part of their driveway and it like goes up to a road. We had to climb up the side of the hill, which was mostly dirt, and I was wearing <laughs> these shoes, which still have some of the gray resin from the, the shale that we're walking on, and um, not only the traction worn down on this shoe, but it's torn off partly on that shoe, and 
I was, luckily there was like a little bit of gravel rock mixed in with the dirt and then there were some trees they, and some roots sticking up so we, we were able to make it. He had no problem. He had better shoes than I did and oh, anyways. Back to my computer issue. I ran, I ran this program, and after I ran it, um, I didn't save the, the log because I'm not really sure if I need to. I might need to now because I am having an issue. After I ran this program, um, which is supposed to help be getting rid of this. Um, this is the first time this has popped up since I was showing my videos. This is one of the <coughs> advertisement Trojans or whatever it is. When I search the internet, every few pages, one of these boxes will click up on the right. Luckily, the people who created this are, were nice enough to create an X, so you can at least close it. But I'm wondering if because I have these two um, Trojan type programs, if they're sucking up my internet bandwidth. And if that's why my oh, my comp other computer that's eight years older and way slower is actually picking up um, <coughs> four to five times the the bandwidth that I'm picking picking up with the same antenna hooked up to my newer computer. And it's hard. I'm gonna turn the light on. I kind of just randomly grabbed something to throw this computer because at night time the DVD light will be blinking like crazy green right here and it's like so annoying that I have to cover it because I'll be like you know trying to watch something and I got this stupid green light distracting me oh. I'm just one of those people that have pet peeves like I'll even turn off the numb lock late a lot of times um, and yeah I'll just, right now I'm addicted to the house series uh, finishing up season 6 and not as happened and I heard from somebody online I haven't re even researched it yet that season 8 which just ended on TV was the final season I'll find out though. I went to the library yesterday, I had to return some stuff, and I was so stupid for whatever reason. I This was due, and um, since it's a semi newer movie, I wasn't able to um, renew it. Sometimes, sometimes I'll renew stuff even though I know I'm going, most likely going to the library just in case. But I forgot. I was thinking backwards. I, I knew that I had three stuff renewed, but I did like a, a backwards thing where instead of holding on to three things, I only returned three things. The other things were... Um, I know no one probably cares, but they were. Oh, a really good movie was uh, on Blu ray was Chronicle about these teenagers that find this meteor with like this alien type stuff and this like explosion or something happens and they slowly start to develop. Um, powers where they can move stuff with their mind and then they eventually learn how to fly and um, can like I don't, know, I don't want to give away the movie but it's really good it's a really good movie um, as far as what it what it is and what it's about but it looks awesome on blu-ray too and then I just had two video games uh, Naruto Naruto 
Shippuden, however you say it, um, Ultimate Ninja Storm. I didn't really play that much myself. It was like his fighting game with like story mode that went along with the, the cartoons. So it was definitely for my oldest nephew to play with. And he actually, in like one day, he like beat the entire story mode. Um, that's how much he plays video games. <laughs> And the other game was extremely awesome. He has like a he has a HD TV. It's not like the best out there, but <clears throat> I bought a HDMI cord for him since he didn't have one. To hook up to, from from his Xbox 360, and we played a sweet new game, uh, Forza Motorsport 4, and it was like so cool because um, like r right from the beginning you can just go to free play and you can use um like hundreds of cars and like you can automatically go to like the fastest uh the few of the f fastest um street legal cars and that are available on the game um of course one of them in real life being the Bugatti Byron oh it wasn't upgraded though, the, I remember the horsepower was only like 937, but and like the new Bugatti Byron has like 1200 horsepower. But anyways, uh, uh, the story mode on that was pretty sweet, like, you know, starting off with base model cars and then, you know, earn, earning and your way up, and, and that game was like so detailed, you could like fine tune your, all different parts of your, inside of your car. Um, so, highly recommend a game, but, alright, back to my computer pr problem. After I ran this program twice now, I've gotten a blue screen that comes up, and my, luckily, my, it'll start saying, down here it'll start saying physical memory dump, but I used to, th I've seen, like, scary blue screens from people when if they get that um like the love of trojan where if they get that blue screen to death then it'll start wiping out their hard drive <laughs> and luckily that's not the blue screen i'm getting but i'm using this blog to help get rid of those advertisements popping up here and then another thing is when I go to a website, it'll hijack where I'm trying to go to, and it'll send me somewhere else and try and get me to, you know, it, they're either making money by having it auto redirect, or they're making money if I click anything on the new web page. But anyways, uh, this was supposed to be a helpful program. I ran it. And I did the scan, honestly. Well, let's see what else. Um, this guy, the computer rep, um, malware response guy, with like a whole bunch of posts. Um, he recommended to uninstall Firefox and Chrome. This particular person was having. He didn't mention this advertising issue, but he had the redirect website issue. And he said it was only happening with Firefox and Google Chrome. And he was saying, you know, Internet Explorer was continues to function normally. If my memory serves correctly, I, I think I'm having the problem with all three. Not too sure, but um He's, his TDS killer report did not find anything. Mine actually f found something. We'll see what he says about the ASW. And this is obviously some advanced report stuff. All the files it goes through. This is almost longer than the combo fix report. Alright, and his ASW report 
I never looked at my report, so... I might have looked at it. Might have to run it again. Alright, and then he's saying, restart Firefox and Chrome 11. Let me know if they still redirect. So far I haven't had a redirect issue, so... <clears throat> I'm not gonna... Um, uninstall them um, until I have that issue then I'll just redo the steps the other main reason I don't want to uninstall them is because I have it's because I have like a bookmark list on both of them and like Google Chrome is, is the latest one I've been using and book marks list is pretty it's starting to get big already and Firefox you know has one Internet Explorer has one and I'd have to mess with converting them over all right Chrome seems to be okay now I tried 25 plus links on Google and Bing with no redirect Firefox, on the other hand, continues to redirect. So, alright, I'm just gonna scroll through this because uh, since I got that blue screen, um, I'm, I kind of want to read about issues that this guy is running into before I, you know, replay history. <laughs> and end up with the same mistakes that he had. Alright, he's suggesting running Firefox in safe mode. Um, all seems well as after he tried it. Alright, I'd like you to go here to see how to disable add-ons. Alright. Oh, wow, yeah, he's getting into the some technical stuff. I like hardly ever use Firefox unless Chrome is acting up. Oh, and I'm not gonna s sit there right now and mess with each add-on. Uh, oh, here we go. This kind of helps me though. Says performance cache is a fake add-on. <sighs> All right, it's gonna turn into a long video because I'm going to have to remember how to get to Google Chrome add-ons. I might want to test it first though. Which I'm obviously not going to be able to do since my internet. <sighs> yeah, this isn't going to work too well. I have this um, Netgear software that comes with the USB stick antenna. and the <sighs> There's a reason I'm keeping it for now. But anyways, I like to disable it and then manually use the regular build and windows software to connect to the one free signal that we're picking up right now stuff he's asking to run a CF script and it has to do with Java all right and then this will let combo fix run again which is a very Oh, way more advanced uh, malware removal tool that runs by itself. Um, 
and we'll pick up stuff that basic programs like SpyBot and Adaware. Like my clean PC, we won't pick up, and it gives you a log. That way, you can go into blogs like this to text, and then they can help you figure out the problem. Uh, and look, this guy is so smart. He actually created a GIF. <laughs> he is definitely. And this guy is doing this off of donations. <laughs> Alright, and of course, okay. Report from Combo Fix. <clears throat> and since I'm getting the blue screen, there's a chance I'm gonna end up having to post myself. Because this guy isn't talking about a blue screen yet. He also has it, I mean, but this guy also, ha you know, he has Windows 7, I have Windows Vista, Home Edition, and he has some, I don't know, alright, it's going to be a long combo fix log of his. It's not that long. Seems long when you run it yourself. <laughs> That's it. And then he's obviously smart enough to read the log. These logs are looking a lot better, but we still have some work to do. <sighs> wow. So it looks like I'm going to have to... Well, I don't know. If this wasn't affecting Firefox only, but it'll still be good to get it off my computer. He's basically seeing, giving instructions to. Huh. He's, this guy's suggesting to run all these programs. Alright. Malware bytes, anti malware removal, hijack this. I. I think I've used that before. I'm just waiting for that blue screen to pop up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and stop for now.